Mick, mm. what's on your mind? You've had ants in your pants all day. Yeah, Tone, look, uh, if I can take a moment, I'd like to. Uh, you dropped a bit of a bombshell on the show yesterday. <laughs> uh, you announced that you got married over summer. Yeah. And I just felt I should offer my congratulations and wish both you and your lovely wife all the best in the future. Well done, mate, and uh, all the best to you. I hope it works out. You feeling good about it? Yeah, thanks, Mickey. Yeah, you feeling good? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, you are? Mm. What about Yoko? Oh, look, how's she... <laughs> How is that dirty, rotten Yoko? No, you've changed tone. It used to be about the jokes, about you and me piss farting about. Now, all of a sudden, every day, you're asking if you can leave early to pick up the kids. You've changed, man. You don't invite me round to watch the commission anymore. Every time I ring, I get the answering machine. I know you're screening calls. I'll bet that evil trollop isn't even passing on my messages. No, you've lost it, buddy. Lost the edge. Go buy a cardi and do some gardening while you're waiting for your soup. Superannuation to kick in. Have you got a favourite chair yet? Started writing outraged letters to the daily newspaper, have you? When will the ABC come to its senses and replay each and every episode of Birds of a Feather? I found them perfectly delightful. That'll be you. Look at you. You've already developed a little pot belly. I don't know what you think you're doing with that pipe, and I'm sorry, Tone, but you've already turned into a bit of an old grump. No, don't argue you have. The other day, sitting on your couch, I lift both legs in the air lit my own fart, threw my jeans, and you didn't even snicker. As for the missus, well, she just looked at me like I was totally juvenile. What gives? Back in the good old days before Lady Macbeth rocked up, they would have given you an asthma attack. What does she see in you anyway? What's she up to? What's her game? I'll bet she's one of those poison ivy types. Probably butters your muffins every morning with aviation fuel. I bet she's already knocked off half a dozen dopey schmucks like you. No, it's over. I want all my aerobics Oz style tapes back and I won't be coming over to your place anymore. Sorry. That's just a little too much like the Bates Motel for my liking. <laughs>